And tonight we are going to be talking about booking groups. This call will be recorded uh, and it will be uploaded. Uh, those of you who are on this call will get credit for the booking groups call. And again, this call will be uh, recorded and uploaded to the to the, uh, the intranet, and it will count and will become the most current booking groups training. We'll do a little editing to it uh, as well, uh, so you'll get the edited version. Uh, but tonight we're going to be talking about booking groups. Booking groups is something that um, I always get excited about because it is a, a very very powerful way to make money. I mean, uh, I think all of you, after all the trainings. Uh, that you get with pro travel, uh, you 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 very quickly begin to understand that most of the training is not about how to click here, how to click there, uh, but really how to make money, how to develop a mindset of generating income. And groups is a phenomenal way to do that. And there are a lot of reasons why we're going to articulate a lot of those reasons tonight. But one of the best reasons is it's just fun. Groups is big. Groups is fun. Groups is uh, varied. There's all kinds of groups. Um, I think we could, if you took a piece of paper and started listing down all the different types of groups uh, that you could possibly book, um, you'd be up all night. There's just that much, that many people uh, in different niches and different uh, affinity groups that you know enjoy traveling together. I think people uh, love to travel together. Families love to travel together, and 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 people love to travel together. Kids love to travel together. And I think that's what it's all about. So, you know, one of the other things that we're going to talk about tonight is uh, the fast track to success and how booking groups can absolutely be that that vehicle that launches your business, you know, months and years ahead. Um, many of you have heard me tell the story about, uh, you know, Jessica, the sales support manager at Pro Travel, uh, how she really developed a, a, a very strong book of business from her first group. Uh, that first group really helped her um, uh, grow her business very, very quickly from that point. So that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. The call is filling up. We've already got uh, lots of people on, and so let's just jump right into it. We've got a couple guests tonight, um, and we're you know, obviously excited about that. And so let's begin. We're going to talk tonight about booking groups. If, you've, if you uh, have notes, you definitely want to take notes on this call. Uh, this is going to be a, a, um, a fun but, but definitely an intensive call. I, I don't have a lot of slides, so there's not going to be a lot of um, uh, fun stuff to look at. But we, we're, we are going to talk about lots of different scenarios and lots of ways to make money in groups and lots of ways to capitalize that. And also, we're going to be talking about the right way to book a group. So not only booking groups, but the best practices, the best ways to book groups, and of course, never forgetting that it still uh, requires some effort on your part. So let's go ahead and let's move on to our first slide, how to book a group. This is just basics, basics 101, groups 101, identify the group. Um, Again, we talked about making a list of all the different types of groups that you can uh, create. Here's just a short list of them. Family reunions, um, anniversaries, um, high school reunions, birthday groups, anniversary groups, girlfriend getaways, destination weddings groups, church groups, clubs and organizations, nonprofits, fundraisers, lifestyle, etc. You know, I just got back from a, a big cruise we did here locally here in the Central Valley. We did the Hispanic Central Valley Hispanic Family Cruise, and we did that on the uh, Carnival Miracle just a few months ago, and I thought that was great. We had about 500 people, and 95% of them had never, ever cruised before. That's great business because that's business that we get to introduce them to something, and we get to be that that uh, entity that keeps them coming back and coming back and uh, building that repeat business. So anytime you can get newbies out there, and a uh, group is always a great way to do that. Now, uh, we thought that that was great. We come off the cruise. Um, we're sitting there, and, and you guys know how cruises work. I'm assuming most of you do, but the cruise ship pulls in the port. Everybody gets off, and then the next group starts to come on or the next uh, a batch of cruisers comes on for the next group. And so on the last day of that cruise, 
you know, the, the, the crew was talking about, of course, we're in the travel business and I'm a travel agent, so I tend to talk to the crew and they know that we're travel agents and if it's a ship that you've been on several times, you know, the Carnival Miracle is kind of at our home port in L.A., so they've seen me on that ship a few times. Um, and we start talking and they're talking about how the next cruise that's going out is completely sold out. It's a charter. And I'm like, really? I mean, my head snapped around. I mean, I'm, they had my attention. A charter, huh? He said, yeah, it's the whole ship. I'm like, wow. I mean, a, as an agency owner, I've still not been able to put together a full ship charter. One of you guys might help us do that. That's, that's how easy it is in the sense of somebody just has to come up with the idea and then we execute on it, you know, together. But, you know, um, we haven't done it yet at Pro Travel Network, but I mean, I'm sure excited about doing one. So we're coming off the cruise ship and we go through customs and we're sitting outside and we're rounding up the buses for all of the, the people because we, we, you know, we um, uh, got buses for everybody to, to take everybody back to, to Fresno. And as we're sitting there, uh, the new group of people or the new people, the, the new um, um, yeah, group of, of travelers starts to show up. And as they started to show up, it was interesting because they were just very, very flamboyant, dressed all kinds of ways, looked like they were going to have a ton of fun, and it was a gay and lesbian cruise. And again, I don't mean any disrespect, and I'm not trying to put anybody down, but I mean they looked like they were going to have a lot of fun. And it was a full charter, and they had people coming on board in costumes. They had people coming on board um, um, in, 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 I mean, it, it, bands. They had bands coming in, people with uh, instruments. Um, um, they were going to have a party. They were going to have a, a, a group that was, and all the things on that ship were going to cater to that group. And that's what's really exciting about groups, whether it's a cruise group, whether it's a church group, you know, um, uh, Dr. Akinyela, um, I was going to have him on tonight, but I, for some reason, I thought the group this training was tomorrow night. But you know, he just booked an African group, a uh, hundred and twenty thousand dollar group uh, to Africa. And if he's on this call, I'll open it up and see if he can, you know, chime in in a few minutes. But there are so many ways and so many varied groups out there. It really just takes someone to uh, uh, come up with some great ideas, meet some people who have some great ideas. Put yourself out there. Uh, target, you know, is the next bullet point here. Target, determine what needs are, the needs are, and how a group trip can help satisfy that need for a particular group or individual, uh, maybe at your church, at your gym. Um, uh, again, lots of different ways to, to put groups together, whether, again, you're putting the group together yourself, you come up with a great idea, and you go out and you um, uh, float that out there to various people to see who bites on that, to see if you can put something really big together. Um, or a group might come to you. You might uh, have a, a person come to you and they have some thoughts about putting a, a group cruise together. And uh, uh, so there's lots of ways to put it together. And one of the other things you want to do is in, in, in putting groups together is you always want to find out who the Pied Piper is. Now the Pied Piper is the person who many times controls the group. He's the one everybody wants to be around. If he does it, I'll do it. Uh, he kinda, he's the mover and the shaker. That doesn't mean he's the owner in the church group. It doesn't mean he's the pastor, but it's that person in every group that seems to be the guy or the girl that if they're doing it, we're doing it. He, he moves people. People enjoy uh, being around him or uh, if he's doing it, it's okay for everybody to do it. That's what we call a Pied Piper. So these are just some of the basic things that I just wanted to share with you at the very outset of the call to kind of set the, the tone for what we're going to be talking about in terms of groups. So just let me recap. Lots of different types of groups. Land groups, cruise groups, tour groups, um, church groups. Uh, I mean, not too long ago, you know, one of our agents, Jacqueline uh, Robinson, did a, a, a really nice group, and it was a train group. It was an Amtrak train group. And the people went, and they went, and they, um, it was a church group, and they went to a particular event that this particular organization has, I think, once a year. And so she um, got a group contract for the train. She got a group contract for the hotel. She got a group contract for the transfers and was able to put all those things together and create this, this group uh, booking. It was a series of bookings. And guess what? A lot of people went on that group. 
you know. And so there's lots of ways to put it together. You know, tonight, um, just at the outset of the call, we're really excited because, you know, I have uh, Monique Adams, we call her Mo, from uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines, who is really big on groups. In fact, she's going to be in Cancun with us at the Riviera Maya uh, doing training on groups. Um, obviously, we're going to be doing different, talking about destination weddings and other things there, uh, but she's going to be focusing on just groups, cruise groups, groups in general, and how that can be a big part of your business. Those of you who have uh, been on calls with me before where either she was on or I just mentioned her name, you know, know that out of all the uh, business development managers, partners, or so-called partners that we have with our suppliers, she is probably the only one that I know of that when I talk to her, we're always on the same page. I know I get busy and I uh, bug her sometimes because I can't stay focused without so many things going on, but I think she and I have a bond because she knows at the end of the day, I just want to make money. I just want to make money. In fact, she says, what should I tell them how to make money? Um, and she comes from that same environment. She wasn't always a business development manager, but she owned her own agency. So she understands what I understand. She understands what you guys understand. And uh, that's why I always try to uh, get her on, and I'm excited when she can be on. I'm excited to have her actually hang around you guys for four days in Cancun so that you can learn you know, everything that you uh, uh, need to and want to learn when it comes to booking groups. So, uh, Mo, if you're there, I'm going to um, go ahead and let you jump in and talk about um, cruise groups and, and anything else you'd like to share. Hi, Paul. Thanks for having me on. Hi, you guys. Um, I just appreciate you having me on. Um, I know I only have a few minutes, and I really appreciate it. I am very excited about going to Cancun with you guys. I was um, very happy when Paul asked me if I could attend, and I was thrilled today when that got cleared. I just was going to say a little bit um, about groups really quick because I know Paul's got a lot of stuff to go over and I think I'll probably hang out on the call because I love to hear him talk. Like you said, we have a lot of things in common. Um, there's nothing better than having a group. A group meaning anybody other than yourself. A group could be not just two people, it could be four all the way to 500. And I. I don't know if Paul has this up on the screen. Paul, do you see my little flyer there? It's up. It's up. Okay, great. Um, as he said, uh, groups are totally fun. And first of all, not only is it fun, but you get to travel. If you do big groups and the people are the Pied Piper, as what Paul was explaining, that means you're going to travel with them. And the most important thing, as Paul was saying, is identifying what types of groups you may be interested in. And you, something you might not even know, you could be involved with, I don't know, uh, something off the wall like a homeschooling, homeschool crowd. They can travel at any point. There's always a chance to make a group with anything that you do. So don't just think that it's only a church group or your bowling group or you don't or your knitting group. It could be anything. You could be just a really fun person and everybody wants to travel with you. So guess what? Lori is going on a cruise and anybody want to go with me? And all of a sudden she's gone from two cabins to 59 cabins. So just knowing that with, when you book groups, you can buy your houses, you can buy your cars. Ladies, you can go shopping with your money. The gentlemen can go golfing or buy boats, whatever it is. Just remember that groups are really the way to go. What I wanted to show you on um, with Norwegian is that we have, and, I, and I'm not just saying this because I work with Norwegian, but you can please take a look and look at all the other lines out there. We have the best groups in the industry. And what I mean by that is not only when you look with the other lines, you have to hold some group space. You have maybe 30 days, and then you have to come up with money out of your pocket. As independent contractors with Pro Travel, that's your responsibility. So when you go on brand red, white, and blue, or brand X, or ABC, whatever, and you hold their group space, you've got 30 days. Then you have to come up with their money. With Norwegian Cruise Line, as you can see, you can hold anywhere from 8 to 16 cabins up to four months prior to sailing 
without any money coming out of your pocket. So if you're not dealing with groups, first of all, then you're not, you are really missing the boat because you can really line your pockets. And if you're not using Norwegian's groups, then you really are missing the boat because we give you all of this chance to promote and sell without any money out of your pocket. Um, there are, there we, I have a, somebody today, I think she's on the phone, her name is Gloria, and I saw, I was talking with Paul today, we were strategizing on what we want to do with Pro Travel for the next, to this coming up year and help all of you guys make more money. Um, I noticed that Gloria um, had booked like 14 cabins today, and I pulled it up, took a look, she booked a group a while ago. And then all of a sudden, there's like 59 people going in. Today, she booked 14 more. So it's really a great way to, to really get out there and show what you have. And where Paul said, he did say something that I have to write down what he says sometimes because he strikes my interest. When he said, sometimes groups will come to you. Well, that's true. But sometimes just an FIT booking, one person that you book, that you do a really good job of with all this training that you're that is available to you through Pro Travel. You're learning how to be professional and all the ins and outs of the cruise industry. You treat your that one individual client correctly. All of a sudden, what he said is right. These groups are going to come to you because word of mouth is huge. Um, is Gloria on the phone, Paul? Hello. Let me check. I, I, I see Gloria, but I'm not sure if it's okay. the right Gloria. <clears throat> is it Gloria Pearson oh, okay. or is it Gloria Marquez? Marquez. Gloria Marquez. <clears throat> Gloria, are you there? Gloria, are you there? If, if you're there, type in. But we'll wait and see if she comes on because I know I only have a few minutes. But take a look. Um, at our all of our sales pal that um, is on the website for agents and take a look at any of these sailings and ships we are out uh, we're open for group all the way till 2016 in Hawaii a lot of the other ones are open until the middle of 2014 and 15 take a look at something that you want grab that space hold up to 16 cabins and that means that you are assured the price Today's price, not the price a year from now. Like, for instance, Gloria, she booked her group that I'm just speaking of, and she booked it long enough ago that her price right now is $111 less than what anybody can purchase if they were to call and try to book through Norwegian or through you or whatever tomorrow. And she's got the lowest rate. So the biggest thing about groups is getting everything early, getting the lowest rate, and get the most amenity points. So I'm, I, I have a whole bunch more to say, but I know that we're, we're on a time constraint, constraint, so I think Paul's going to set something up again, maybe for groups, and then again, um, I'll be there in April. And if anybody has any questions, um, just let me know. But um, I really appreciate the time, and I can't wait to meet everybody. And I, by the way, I met Gloria two years ago on Pro Travel's um, Sky convention they did on the Norwegian Sky, and I spoke about group, and look what she did. She said it took her just a little bit of time to get it going, and off she went. So thanks for, the, thanks for having me on, Paul. I appreciate it. If anybody has any questions, just let Paul know, and I will be happy to answer them. If you have anything that you need any help with um, outside of your contractual with Pro Travel, if there's things that are in my wheelhouse, Paul's got my information. Um, feel free to let me know. Thanks, Paul. Uh -oh. Yeah, thank you, Mo. I appreciate uh, uh, you spending time with us. I know you're very, very busy, and just to take that just few minutes, I, I, I really, really, really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and push forward uh, in this training. Um, and let's talk about group sales support. Uh, before we talk about groups, you guys know I'm famous for this. Before we get excited and before we just jump out there and just start booking groups, let's slow down for a minute and let's understand what it means. Yes, we can make a lot of money, 
Yes, there's an opportunity to do some amazing things with groups. Yes, a group can launch your business into the stratosphere. It absolutely can, but but let's slow down for a minute and let's understand what a group really means. Number one, a group is a series of individual bookings. That's all it is. A lot of times uh, we get afraid of groups. Uh, agents uh, get very anxious about a group uh, and they're unable to you know, perform and, and, and they make um, um, commitments to their clients that they can't really keep understanding that a group many times takes time there's some research that needs to be done um, there are things that you need to do but they're the same things that you would do with any booking really it's just that sometimes we get so excited that we we, we don't uh, uh, slow down and do the things that we're supposed to do you know just recently in the office just to give you an idea uh, we had go go vacations give us a call and it wasn't really negative it was just that hey Paul this is um, your your friendly uh, go go vacations um, uh, business development manager and you know we're really excited because over the last couple of weeks you guys have had uh, you guys have um, um, gotten 40 group request quotes from us that's awesome but not one of them is deposited okay well guess what that's a problem that means that we're excited everybody wants to go book groups but we're not actually educated. That means we're not actually doing things the way that we're supposed to do them. That means that we are, we are letting our excitement take us places that we don't want to go. We need to stop and we need to focus on our sales skills so that when we do call these people, when we do call the home office pro travel, when we do call the suppliers, when we do call Mo, who is there to help. But you know what? She wants to help when she knows that you're serious when you call. Now, Paul, does that mean that these people weren't serious when they called GoGo? -Go? No, I don't mean that. But there's a difference between being emotionally excited and you think you're serious versus actually having everything ready to go. Paul, does that mean that we need to have our deposits ready before we call? No, I'm not saying that either. But you need to work the process so that you are very um, close or you believe that you actually have a deal. You know, on the sales training calls, one of the things that I – um, spent a lot of time with as I talked about the reason that a lot of salespeople fail is one they don't have a plan they don't have a plan and one of the tenets of not having a plan one of those top five things is we spend too much time with non buyers here's the key to that though remember guys on the training it's not the buyers fault it's our fault because we don't have a plan because we don't remember or, or take seriously the sales process or those skills that we need to learn we just are moved to action. A customer calls us up and says, hey, I, I'm thinking about taking 100 people to um, um, Egypt next year, and we're really excited about it. Can you get me some information on that? And without even doing any due diligence, without going through the sales process, you immediately pick up the phone and you call GoGo -Go Vacations, you call Pro Travel, you call Mo, you call Saskia. You're calling all of these resources who are there for you as resources, but you're not really ready to be calling them yet. There's some stuff that you need to do first, and that's called the sales process. And that's a process of finding out more about how this group is coming about. What are the wants and needs that, need, that you need to satisfy? Is this really the place they want to go? How far along are we in this process? You know, um, and that's one of the things I also talk about is that travel agents, for some reason, seem to be the only sales entity on the planet that can be put to work without a commitment. A lawyer is not going to work for free. You can't take your car in for free and get it diagnosed. I mean, I don't know of any sales related entity that will do any work for you for free except travel agents. So not only are you working for free, but now you've got GoGo -Go Vacations working for free. And that's not the way that we do the business. Does that mean that they're not there to help you? Absolutely not. See, the call to us was excited. Gosh, you guys have 40 new group quotes. That's exciting. But none of them are deposited. Me and Mo have had that same conversation. I know she's uh, not, I, I think she may still be on the call, but we've had that conversation before. Paul, you've got all these groups booked, but none of them have a deposit on them. So what that says is that the excitement is there. So that's step one. We've got that. 
but now we need to settle down into our sales chair and we need to start methodically working these groups so that we can bring them home and get paid. So remember, a group is a series of individual bookings. We want to use our sales support properly. And a couple of other things. Groups does not always mean a better deal. Groups does not always mean a better deal. Many times, especially with airfare, you know, you can get one seat for this price, but if you try to get six, it's going to be higher. Well, Paul, I don't understand that. If it's a group, it should be more. Then my question back to you was, who told you that? See, these are some fallacies out there about groups. There's a lot of reasons that groups can make sense. It doesn't always mean it's a better deal or the lowest price. There may be some amenities that you may be able to put into that group. But the most important thing that you need to understand about a group is a group gives you a lot of flexibility to make money. A group gives you a lot of opportunity to do some very neat special things. A group sometimes you can negotiate maybe a lower rate or you can negotiate some special amenities that are specific to that group that makes that group feel like you know they're special. So there's various ways but it doesn't always singularly mean that my group's going to get a better rate because sometimes you're going to be disappointed. The group rate might be a little bit higher. And I hope everybody understands that. And I'll take questions at the end of this call. And Mo, if you're still on the line, you can ch chime in at any time if you want to add anything uh, to what I'm saying. I mean, you're a professional and you've been doing this uh, as long as I have or longer. So, you know, um, 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 any input is always great. You must work the sales process. We all know that. Every time we get out of the sales process, we're going to make mistakes. Here's what the sales process is to me, guys. When I leave the office, it doesn't matter whether it's snowing, it doesn't matter whether it's a hailstorm, tornado, hurricane, I have one mission when I leave that office after eight, nine, ten hours. I want to go home. And it doesn't matter if there's traffic jams, it doesn't matter what the issues are, I want to go home and see my kids. I want to see my wife, I want to sleep in my bed, I want to sit on my couch. There's this homing beacon, right, that we want to go home. Well, you know what, for me, I've been in sales so long that the sales process is a homing beacon for me. I can't even see myself entering into an, a, a sale without actually going through those steps. So for me, it would be completely foreign to have somebody call me and get excited about a group and then me just pick up the phone and call uh, Carnival and start, uh, start trying to figure out this group or calling Go Go Vacations or calling Pro Travel and saying, Jessica, I need you right now. I need to talk about how I can put this group together. No, no, I would wait until I've actually begun to go through the process and actually got to the steps that actually work and uh, put me in a position where I'm supposed to be doing those things. So I want to make sure that everybody understands that while groups can be very, very exciting, you're going to have to work smart and hard. Because you, if you don't work smart, you will work hard. See, that's the thing about a group. A group, you're going to work hard. But if you don't work smart, you're going to work hard and not get paid. You're going to be the mechanic that tells the client, you know, I'll go ahead and take a look at your car and see what's, what, what's going on with it. And I hope that if I find something, you'll do business with me. There's no mechanic that will do that. When you drive your car in, they make you sign a contract right then and there. Okay, it's going to be $80 an hour. If we find anything, and if you do the service here, we'll deduct that from the cost of the total repair. However, if you decide to leave, you owe us $85 an hour. How come we don't do that? How come it's so easy for us to be put to work without any commitment whatsoever? So as travel agents, before we get all excited about booking the group and making $10,000 and making $16,000 and doing all those things, we need to slow down a minute, work the sales process, and let's talk about that sales process for a minute. It doesn't change. That professional greeting. Now, granted, you, you, you've already talked to the client, but you still got to sell yourself. You're unique. We're all unique. You're not me. I'm not you. You're not Mo. I'm not Mo. You're you. You're unique. You have something that people will value if you share it with people. You're finding out about the client as well. Selling yourself is a two-way street. Finding out about them why they want to go on this particular trip, who came up with the idea, who the Pied Piper is. These are all the little things that you want to find out. Many times you might be put to work and the person who you're talking to 
actually has no pull whatsoever as the person who determines whether this group is even going to take place or not. I mean, so these are very important steps in the process that are going to help you, number one, get to the decision makers. Get to the people who can actually say, let's do it. Let's pull the trigger on this. Okay? You want to talk about pro-travel, you know, that we do all kinds of groups and that we've done this and done that and we're the perfect company to, be, to, to back up and help you make uh, this the best group ever to satisfy everyone's needs in the group. Qualify. This is a great uh, step where you're asking questions to find out how you can make this group perfect. You know, they may say they want to go to Africa, but maybe they don't want to go to Africa. They may say they want to go on a cruise to the Caribbean, but maybe that's not really what they want. Maybe it takes you asking the right questions to really determine where they really want to go. Because that's what we do as travel agents. We're not order takers. We don't work at McDonald's. Just because somebody says, Paul, I want to go to Cancun doesn't put me to work. Let's talk to them a little bit. Let's find out why they think that. That may end up being the case, but it may not. It may be that they really want to go on a cruise. They thought they wanted to go to Cancun, but actually a Caribbean cruise, maybe Western Caribbean, is really what they're looking for. Maybe it's Disney. We don't know. But it's our job to ask the right questions so that we can then select and take that information in and then come back to them and say, you know what, I have got the perfect option for you. Or maybe I've got two options, A and B. You'll tell me which one, but I think both of these would be perfect for you and your group. See, this is what the sales process is. So here's my challenge. I'm only, I'm only on step number one, two, three, four, five right now. How many of you, before you've even gotten to the step, have already picked up the phone and you're getting price quotes? You're putting other people to work who really shouldn't be put to work because actually you shouldn't have been put to work yet. Remember, until you get down to the select process, there's only one thing we do as salespeople. We build relationships. We're building value in our, in our services and our knowledge and, and, and what we can bring to the table. Until you get to this step, there's nothing else to talk about. Because, again, if you remember the getting started training, okay, buyers have a plan. Salespeople too often do not. And when a salesperson doesn't have a plan and the buyer does, guess what the only thing to talk about is? Price. And when price is the only thing to talk about, we will always lose. Okay? Now, some people might think, well, price is always the most important thing. No, it's not. It's not even close. The most important thing is value. The most important thing is finding out what that number one thing is. You can't do it if you don't qualify. You can't do it if you're not selling yourself. So that's what happens. If I don't know you, and you don't know me, and we don't know each other, and I have no idea where you went to school, you have no idea where I went to school. You don't know where uh, I worship. I don't know where you worship. I don't know how many kids you have. You don't know how many kids I have. We don't know each other at all. There's only one thing to talk about, price. We lose. So you want to spend most of your time building relationship, building rapport, building value. This is where the money is made. The money is not made when you quote the price. The money is made before you ever quote the price. Okay, so now as we get down to presentation, now we're going to start talking about really getting down to the nitty gritty of what we're looking at. And guess what? You don't have to call the group's department to get a to get a a, a quote on a group. You can just go to Travelocity, go to Orbitz, use the front page of your website. Remember, a group is nothing more than a set of individual bookings. So if you want to get a group rate on people going to Cancun from L.A. Just go to Travelocity and type it in and just get kind of get some different pricing on that and then just come up with a ballpark. You're not, you're not ready to actually quote them anyway. Just come up with a ballpark. Well, Paul, that's not for a group. That's for one person. Yes, but a group is nothing more than a series of individual bookings that's put together. The group rate typically is not going to be that much different than the individual rate. Once you actually get into the group concept, you can negotiate some things. There may be some amenities. You can ask for, you know, one free cabin for every 15 or one free room for every 20, or you can try to negotiate this or negotiate that. But again, the basics of it are still going to be very simple. And this is what I talk about, learning groups and not just going off the excitement and getting put to work 
and then the, those groups never come to fruition. What we want and what you want is every time you put a, a, a group feeler out there and you go out and get a full group quote, we want to be fairly sure, you want to be fairly sure that you're going to bring that baby home. Now, that's not going to be the case every time, and I'm not saying that every time you actually you know, pick up the phone and call Mo and ask for her help that you're definitely going to close it. We all know that. We're all in sales. But you need to start being confident in who you are. And where does that confidence come from? It comes from doing these steps. You've got notes on this group. You've got notes on these people. You know where this is going to go. That confidence comes from communication. Communication. Okay? Commitment. We all know what commitment is. A commitment is an agreement to buy with or without conditions. A commitment is an agreement to buy with or without conditions. That means before you even quote price. So if I could put this, so now that I've talked to you about this group to Cancun or this group on the Norwegian Pearl uh, for seven days, we're going to do this, we're planning this, we think we can put these activities together, I think this is going to be perfect for the group. The group said they wanted to have these seminars on board, we're going to have that. I think this is perfect. So if we can get this and we can fit it in the price range for all the group members, do you think this is the one we're going to do? And you're looking for that yes. Well, who does that yes need to come from? It needs to come from whoever is the decision maker or decision makers. Now, again, I still haven't gone and grabbed a group contract. I haven't called GoGo -Go Vacations yet. I haven't pulled group space yet. I could, but I'm not here just to spin my wheels. Let's see if we actually have something. If I could. Make this group happen, and it's the perfect group, and we can make it fit everybody's budget. If we could have everybody go with two nickels and two bubblegum wrappers. See, it doesn't matter what the, what, what the commitment is, because we're going to talk about price after we get the commitment. Because really what we want them to say is, That's, that sounds perfect, Paul. Outside of price, that sounds, that sounds like the perfect group trip for us. That's exactly what we want to do. Man, I, I really appreciate you, you putting this together for us. What's it going to cost? Because once you get that question and you've done these steps, the value is there. You've already proven yourself. You've proven that you've done some research when really you haven't done that much research. But they think you have because you've communicated. The value is in the communication. So you've had several phone calls back and forth with them or different people in the group, all just building rapport. And rapport never goes unpaid, guys. Even if you don't make the deal, you'll make the next one. Building rapport and building value, if you don't make this booking, you're going to make more because these people will become your clients. That's the important part of the sales process. It's never wasted. So there's no point in shortcutting it. When you shortcut it, you, you shortcut yourself. You can never shortcut in this process. And then you come to close. What does close mean? Close are the terms of the commitment. Now we're going to get down to exactly what the, the, the nitty-gritty of that commitment is, and we're going to close this deal out. And you can always close it out because you've already got a commitment that if, we can, if, if, this, if this is the perfect deal, now it's just settling on price. Just settling on price, whatever that is. And when value is already built in, it's an easy thing. It's an easy thing. So, you know, this is what it's all about. All right. Selling groups. The most important part of selling groups in that sales process is to qualify, qualify, qualify. You've got to ask lots of questions. One of the biggest mistakes in selling groups is just to assume that the group knows exactly where they want to go, where they want to stay, um, all of these things. A, a lot of times groups, for example, are looking for something maybe inexpensive, okay, because they're trying to satisfy all the members. That's not always the best thing. If, if you want to burn a group, put them all in Motel 6 so they can all get there cheap. That group will never call you back, okay? So you don't want to do stuff like that. You want to find out what the group really needs. What's going to make them happy? What's going to create an annual group for you? Write that down. When I book a group, I'm always looking forward to next year's group. I'm going to put this one together. It's going to be a lot of work. But once I put this, this work in, I'm expecting this to be an annual event. How many of you guys would like to have every one of your groups turn into an annual event? 
And then how many of you would love to have an annual event every month? You can absolutely do that. You can absolutely do that. So ask lots and lots and lots of questions. Listen for hot buttons. Listen for hot buttons. And where do those hot buttons come from? This is very important, guys, this third bullet point. You need to have something for everyone. One of the biggest mistakes we make is only communicating with the group leader. See, earlier I talked about communicating with the group leader as far as who's going to be the decision maker. But we want to talk to everyone in the group in terms of making sure that everyone in the group has all of their needs taken care of. Because many times once people actually get to the function, they want to go do something that they want to do. I want to go do something with my wife. Sure, I've been here with this whole group and we're having a great time, but now I want to go split and I want to go do this. I want to go on that excursion. I want to go do this. I want to go do that. And if you've spent all of your time focusing on just the group leaders or the group leadership, these people are still going to do it. They're just not going to do it with you. They're going to waste time trying to figure out what, they're, what they want to do. The group is not going to be as exciting for them. There's so much money that we as travel salespeople lose when we don't consider everyone in the group. I'm a firm believer that when you do a group, you don't ever do one invoice for the group. Now, I grant you it's convenient. Well, Paul, I, I, you don't understand. This is a bowling group, and they're just all pooling the money, and they're just going to do one invoice as the group. I would never do that. I would invoice each person separately or each couple separately per reservation so that I could develop a one-on-one -on -one relationship with those people. That's how you turn group business into huge business. You can still deal with that person you know, with the money or whatnot, but you want to invoice these people separately so that they can actually um, um, communicate with you and you can build a serious relationship with each one of them. I think Mo just chimed in. Did you want to say something, Mo? I do. I do. That is huge. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sitting, I wasn't going to be in here, but I'm sitting here listening to the whole thing. What he just said is absolutely the truth, and I can tell you that I learned that my first year. As Paul said, I owned a, a cruise company for 20 years, and I did, and it's so funny that he said bowling because that was my big thing. I did a bowling group, and I did one invoice. And it was not the way to go. I learned that because one of the guys that was actually in the bowling group, and they all kind of bought cheap inside cabins, you know, so I'm thinking this is the way to go. He is the head of Dell Webb. And yes, he wanted to go with all of his friends at the bowling alley, but he wanted to have a relationship because of what we did for this group, who was very, um, lack of a better word, cheap, on board the ship. But he had no information on me. He had no information on my group department. And thank goodness I was with that group, and I met him. And then he is one of the ones that did the 500 cabins and bought out all of the suites all of the mini suites and all balconies. There was not one outside or inside cabin. So I agree with what Paul said. I learned that, like I said, the hard way, and I never did it again. Invoice individually because your name is in front of them, that your telephone number is in front of them, and not everybody is going to want what somebody else wants. Thanks. I just wanted to say that that was huge. Thank you, Mo. I appreciate that. Uh, that third part, party validation is always important, especially, again, from someone that's been in the business. She's not just coming from a, a standpoint of being a, a, a business development manager and, and a very good one because she only deals with top accounts. But, you know, this is someone who built a business. And, you know, that's what I really love about this business is all of you are, are at some point either brand new or um, you're very good at what you do. Uh, but this is a learning process for all of us because we all want to get better. And if there's a money to be made, we definitely want to make it. And, and you know, we don't want to lose money by focusing on just the leaders of the group. Everybody in that group needs to have a great time 
and at the end of that cruise, and then the last part of this is make sure that you go on these groups. Um, she actually mentioned that earlier uh, in, in, uh, in her initial comments, is you've got to travel. The best salespeople are those that travel with their groups. You know, <clears throat> there is no, there is no um, doubt in my mind that the group may not necessarily need you. They're all adults, and they'll be able to find their way around the ship or find their way around the resort or find their way around whatever it is. But just you being there, they tend to lean on you. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with you being the go-to person for seven days? You know, that's exactly what you want. Every time they call your phone, it's an opportunity for you to take care of them, to show them that you're their personal concierge, you know, in a, in a sense. And you'll be shocked at how many of them at the end of that cruise or at the end of that trip, they're already talking about, we want to go do this and we want to go do that. And can you set us up for this? It's the way to make money. So you always want to find a, your way to, you know, get on that, get on that, uh, get on that, uh, that ship or with that group. Okay. So, um, again, every member of the group must be considered. List all opportunities for fun, training, and sightseeing. So you want to give them all the possibilities and opportunities for them to have a great time uh, just like everybody else. Presentation. Uh, when you present the group and you're all done uh, and you're in that presentation stage, you want to pr promote the group or give the presentation as if it's a done deal. You want to be confident about it. Why do you want to be confident about it? Because you put the work in. You put the work in. Make sure you're dealing with the decision maker. Uh, this is one of the things that uh, even me, as seasoned in sales as, as I am, I had to actually come up against this myself before I actually got it. Because sometimes it's human nature to take the path of least resistance. If I don't have to talk to that guy, maybe I can talk to this guy and he'll go talk to that guy. And that's just our own personal fear. You need to talk to the decision maker. He knows you're there. They're trying to put this together. Don't be afraid. Find a way to get to the decision maker. And actually, he would probably appreciate it even more. So very, very important. Make sure that you're dealing with the decision maker. Otherwise, you're going around in circles. How many of you guys have ever uh, been a part of this? Well, let me see what he says. Well, what do you think? You got a bunch of people sitting around a table looking at each other going, what do you think? Because there's no decision maker at the table. There's no leader at the table. Everybody wants to know what everybody else thinks. And guess when that happens, it's always negative. It seems to always be negative. Well, you know, because they're not leaders. They're more concerned about everybody in the room. A leader says, guess what? It's not going to be perfect for everybody. See, that's the thing about a group. That's the thing about a group. We're going to Cancun in, in April. Is that perfect for everybody on April the 18th? No. Some people can't be there. Some people have other plans. If I sat around and, and polled everybody about when we're going to have the next event, we'd never have one. But somebody has to make the decision and say, this is where we're going. So make sure that you're dealing with the decision maker or decision makers. That's very, very important. If you have to just take a deep breath, you know, you got to do it. Avoid the back and forth with other members. Make sure you have all the details on departure dates and itineraries. Just lock it down. Okay? Be, be, be confident about it. And one of the other great things is to have a presentation night or a presentation party. Now, here's the psychology of that. If they're willing to come to a presentation night or a presentation party to hear everything that you have to say, it's a done deal already. That's actually a closing technique. Okay? Just as uh, what people don't understand that uh, when we're in, in sales, if I can get you to meet me at the office, the deal's halfway done. You know, I don't need to close you over the phone. Okay, um, this sounds really, really good. Can you actually uh, come to the office and we can actually talk about it? Sure, I can be there Saturday at 10 o'clock. When you have an appointment, leave their house, come to your office and call your name at a particular time they are already in the buying mode. So having a presentation night or a presentation party is huge because they don't even realize that what they just told you is we're in. So it's a great way to make it a fun thing, and they don't even know that you're actually reeling them in with a great trial close is what that's really called, a trial closing technique. Build group value. 
build group value. We're almost on the last slide. Again, I told you this wasn't a very long presentation, but definitely power packed. Um, and I want to take a break right this second. I don't know if any of these people are on the call. Uh, I think Dr. Akinyela is on the call. I want to kind of open that up because I did mention uh, he had the booking of the day a few days ago and had a $113,000 um, Africa cruise. And I'm going to open up the call and see if he's there available. Um, and maybe even um, uh, Pam Quarles. And there's a couple other agents I'll look through and who have done some very significant group business with us. Um, and uh, it's exciting. It's exciting because um, in our business, it's all about duplication. If he can do it, I can do it. If you can do it, I can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. That's so important. So those of you who have never done a group before, we were all there one, at one point. And it may have been just a few months ago. But uh, it just takes a, a great idea, and it takes some work, and you can go ahead and fulfill on that idea. So let me just open the call up. I've only got two more slides left, so I've got a few minutes to, uh, to do that. And let me see if, um, uh, let's see who I can get here. I'm going to try Dr. Akinyela first, and I'm going to open up his mic and see if he's available. Doctor, are you there? Hey, Paul, how are you doing? I'm doing great, doing great, doing great. Uh, you know, you had the booking of the day just a few days ago, and um, just an amazing booking. I mean, any time a booking comes over with $100,000, I mean, everybody in the company notices it. And I just wanted you to kind of just share... Number one, how that came about, did you just create it out of thin air? Was it um, something that somebody else came to you with? Um, how did that come about? And just kind of based in terms of what we're talking about tonight, just give me just a couple, two, three minutes of how you engaged and how you put it together and, and, and you know, the future with that. Yeah, well, you know, I, um, I make it a practice. Uh, you're going to have to speak up and right into the mic. Hello, hello. Well, we can't hear you. Yep, you're going to have to speak up and right into the mic. Okay. I would say I'm not going to have it. Okay, doctor, we can't hear you at all. Well, I can hear you at the very beginning, but we can't hear you now. Okay, he's trying to get that fixed. I'm going to come back to him. Uh, doctor, what you can also do is you can call in via the telephone. If you just click down there, there's a telephone setting. You can use that as well if you're having some issues with your mic. I could hear you perfectly at first, but then you, it kind of went out a little bit. In the meantime... Hello? There you go. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, and I'm talking through my iPad. And my, I was on the phone at first, and I guess it just didn't work. You can hear me now, though, right? I can hear you now. Okay, great. I was saying that, you know, I make a habit of just really listening to people as I go along, and I also try to integrate my travel business into everything else that I do. You know, I'm a, um, a university professor. I also uh, am active in my church, and uh, that particular booking, um, I was having a conversation with my brother who uh, pastors a very large church in Denver, Colorado. And he just happened to mention that he'd like to do an educational tour to South Africa. And I said, well, why don't you let me do it? And I, I told him I could put it together for him. Uh, I went and uh, I, I uh, found out what he wanted to do. I got the, um, found the vendor, brought it to him, and basically, he took it to his church. The 45 people signed up right away. And our goal is to have 100 people total on that tour. I've got to, um, because again, just going around what I do, I've had a conversation with uh, another group in Chicago, and they're going to take a group of about 30 young people to Ghana. And we're going to be booking that in the next few weeks. But again, just really listening. And also, I uh, again, I'm a professor. I'm a therapist, but guess what? The only business cards I carry around are my Pro Travel Network business cards. So no matter what people ask me for information about for myself, that's the card they get. So everybody knows that I'm a travel agent. So that's kind of what I do to get my bookings. 
Excellent. Thank you very much. We definitely appreciate that. And, you know, I, I love it because it's just simple. It's just, it's very, very simple in what you just said. There was nothing complicated in that. It's just going out and, and being a travel agent and not a, uh, not a secret agent. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Absolutely. I'm proud of my business. I want everybody to know what I do. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I want to see if uh, Pam Quarles is on the line. <clears throat> I love Pam. She just has put together some really amazing uh, things. She also did an Africa team. We're not focused on Africa tonight. I'm going to find out who's done some big cruise bookings. Um, we, we had that person on earlier. Um, we were trying to get Gloria on. She booked a huge group with uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines. But let me see if Pam Quarles is available to uh, jump on. I saw her name here. Let me see if she's she's mic'd up. Hi, Paul. Pam, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, I'm Pam. We love Pam. we love Pam. Love Pam. And well, thank one of the you. one of the things that uh, really excited me about um, uh, Pam, Pam's bookings is just you know someone out of the clear blue, uh, Doctor Akinyela. Someone brought that to him. We talked about different ways that you can get a group booking. But in this case, she just had an idea about something she was passionate about and just created it. So, Pam, do you want to spend a few minutes just talk about how you put yours together and how it's become now your third year annual coming up, I think, and uh, just how you've been able to, you know, make that part of your life? Sure. Um, a few years ago, we went over to South Africa for the express purpose of hooking up with some tour providers, local tour providers in one of the communities. And the commitment was we would bring them to our groups and we would use them. Um, I did two things. It obviously gave them some income and it let us price it based on the local economy, which put more money in my pocket. So we put together the first annual um, Grand South Africa Culture Tour with the in emphasis being on culture, not just on going to see animals. Uh, and that was a big success. And at the time that I was doing that, um, someone knew I was doing it, and there was a, a university choir that needed to get booked. So at the same time, I did an air group booking, So, and they all went last April. So that was a pretty good income month for me. And now we're doing the second annual Grand South Africa trip. This time we're changing the date to make it August so that people who are in the educational system who couldn't go last time have the opportunity to go. And uh, this Saturday, we're taking a small group to West Africa, and they're part of the group that went with us to South Africa the first time. Um, um, hi, it's Mo. I, I thought what she, just, what she just said about Africa and what I really took out of that is that uh, maybe People that went to Africa last year were not going this year. So how smart was that, that she did a successful pro group program and changed the time of year that she did it to make a, another set of people with a successful program that she already has. Now she's got two groups at two different times of the year. That's double the amount of people and double the amount of contacts. That's brilliant. working and and the way that um, we're able to do this is we have some um, social connections in different groups so it gives me a database of about 3,500 so I send out save the date uh, advertising the next trip and then those who are interested let me know and then I send them the full itinerary and then I follow up with them so therefore I'm not spamming Well, Pam, Norwegian Cruise Line wants you. <laughs> Thank you. And I actually want the I actually want the doctor as well because he does he's involved in um, the church program, and of course, you know we have the Holy Land, so I have to uh, go mute again. But I'll take you both. Okay. Did you do anything else, Paul? Well, maybe we might have lost Paul. 
I if we muted myself on, out. I'm sorry. I'm here. No, I muted myself no, out and didn't know it. Okay. Yeah, I muted myself out and could and did, didn't understand. Didn't know. <laughs> Pam, if you could do me a favor, Pam, and just kind of. Um, actually, let me just mute you for a second because you, if you could maybe give us an idea of how much money you made on those groups in terms of because I really lo love what you did. Again, I'm not saying that everybody should do this. Okay, but she had the confidence to do this. But what I but but the point is is that she had the wherewithal to go in, utilize different suppliers, uh, and 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 believe that she had that ability and that capability, uh, and not only save money on the wholesale end, which actually turned into more money for her on the retail end. So Pam, could you maybe just kind of speak to that and and how much money you were able to generate? You don't have to give us exact amounts, but you know, just how you came up with that idea just out of the, you know, cuz typically most brand new agents would figure that they have to only use the US counterparts or the US type travel supplier. So how did that come about? Um, when I was in South Africa uh, several years ago and met with some of the the tour people there and met with the Minister of Tourism in one of the municipalities, um, I was able to establish the relationships that I felt very confident in using. Um, and then I came back and talked to Jessica about the idea and said, you know, I'm going to be working in, I'd like to use this particular supplier. I know he's not in our database now. How do I get him in the database so that we can you know, use him? And she was great and we made that work and uh, handled uh, exchanging funds in the different currencies and working working through those logistics. Um, so that works fine. I don't believe in doing it if I can't do at least a 30% markup because it's a lot of work. It's worth it, but it's a lot of work. Um, and so I mark up on average 30%. Uh, I believe that in April, I think I got something like fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 in that one month. Um, and as I said, some of the travelers are going with me this Saturday to uh, to West Africa, and um, they're asking me, you know, okay, what's our next trip going to be? So it's a matter of finding out what they want, and then putting together another group. Great, thank you so much, Pam. We appreciate you. You're welcome. So, guys, you guys can see that. Uh, again, those are both Africa related, but it doesn't matter. We we tried to get some cruise uh, um, uh, stuff on with uh, uh, Gloria, and and most people are going to be doing cruise groups, and 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 you know, so you know, not everybody's going to do Africa and Australia and and Europe and those kind of things. But it's neat to understand that you know what, and and I know you're still on on the on the phone, um, uh, Mo, as as I start to close out. But isn't it amazing that? These are brand new agents for the most part. You know, Pam was not an agent before. Dr. Akinyela was not a travel agent by profession. Um, Gloria was not a travel agent by profession. And they're able to put these tremendous groups together. I mean, 50 cabins and $100,000 bookings. And I mean, it just goes to show you that, you know, the, the, the opportunity is there with groups. Would you agree with that, Mo? Um, I yes, totally. Like for instance, with Gloria, she's got a group on just a little three-day Norwegian sky, and it's pretty much not as intense as the Africa um, trips, <laughs> but it's a great way to get started. And the commission, if she, the rest of the cabins are sold, she's at nine thousand dollars for a three-day cruise. So yeah, I mean it's um, it, it's amazing the contacts you have. And when you have the, just to get off the subject a second, but to have the ability to have the training that Pro Travel is giving you, I do, the, like Paul says, I'm involved with um, just top accounts. And it's amazing the, the training and the dig down to the minutia of how to get something done with not going to a travel school, not spending your life learning how to do something in an office or whatever. This is amazing. And for those, just those few little examples just tells you um, what it is you can do because you have this ab ability with Pro Travel to have all of this um, training. It's amazing to me. And I've been in the business a long time. So no, Paul, I'm really not 
surprised that these two agents were not uh, professional travel travel service people prior to having these groups because of the training that um, is available to them. So, no, I'm not surprised. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. appreciate that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and close this out. I see there's a lot of questions, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Q&A. That Q&A will be cut out of the edited version of this call, um, and the edited version, which, will, which won't go past an hour, will be uploaded uh, for you guys, and it will be the new booking uh, uh, booking groups training, but just let me close out this last slide, then I'll take some Q&A uh, for anybody that wants to stay on the call, but you don't have to, but if you do want to listen in on the q and I'll give everybody about mm, 15, 15, maybe 20 minutes of Q&A, uh, and I'll just answer some questions. Uh, groups qualify for amenities, freebies, and concessions. These are things that you can negotiate in. Some groups automatically have those things. For example, destination weddings, many times the couple can get married for free. Um, they can make it automatically upgraded to the, the honeymoon suite. And there's just different things like that. On a cruise, for example, you get one cabin or one berth for maybe every 10, every 15, every 20. It just depends. Um, with resorts, uh, they have the same type of thing. And many times these things can be uh, negotiable. It just depends on what you're bringing to the table um, and what you like your group to, to be all about. And, and that's the, the, ba the, the beautiful thing about group. And that's what I'm really getting from this call tonight, especially listening to both Pam and you know, Dr. Akinyela, is the fact that they built custom groups. I mean, they just made the group fit uh, what, or, or made the trip fit what the people really wanted to do. And I think that's, I think that's the, the beauty of what groups is. It's not necessarily the cheapest. It's not the easiest. But it's Fun is built in for the group. Now, fun doesn't always mean laughter and goofing around. Fun can be experiential, um, and, and that's what groups is all about. So uh, really an exciting call. In fact, this call actually has turned out much better than you know I anticipated. Not that I didn't think it was going to be a good call, but it, it's a great call. Last slide, guys. Selling groups, the multiplier effect. And we've talked about it already. We're just closing out with this slide. Each group member becomes your client. You know, join the group, become part of the group, travel with your group, make sure you communicate with all the members of the group, build relationship with as many members as possible, always travel with the group again. Uh, okay, so this is traveling with the group. The one at the top is join the group. If it's a bowling group, learn how to bowl. I mean, that's your money, right? <laughs> if it's a gym group, it's a good time to start going to the gym. There's nothing wrong with actually um, building true relationships. See, there's a difference between building relationship just to make money and then there's building relationship for the sake of relationship. If you're going to be doing business with people back and forth, why not join their group? I mean, as long as you don't have any, you know, um, uh, philosophical or, 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 you know, personal reasons against it, there's nothing wrong with becoming a part of these various groups to help broaden yourself um, and that's what we're all about. Again, we're travel agents, not secret agents. And again, repeat business, new business, and annual business. That is the power of what a group can do for you. All right? So great call, guys. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. We've got, you know, almost 220 people on the call. Uh, you guys have been on the call for, for an hour now. Again, the call ends right at this moment. You guys can all hang up if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, answer some of these Q&A questions. So if you're interested in hanging on for just a little bit, I'm only going to take about 15 minutes or so and just answer a few of these. If you have a church group and they want to travel to an attraction out of state and they need a bus as transportation, are there any specific people that we work with or do we use local bus companies? Uh, that's just simple. I mean, just go to Google and type in charter bus companies, and you'll find lots of bus entities in your area, um, and just call them up as a supplier and just negotiate a group with them. Uh, if Pro Travel is not signed up with them, then just like uh, Pam just said, you just hook us up with them, and Jessica will create the contract. We make sure that they actually pay commissions and pay them on time. You don't just want to pick out anybody, right? Um, and we'll actually hook up with them, and we'll put that together for you, and then you can book through them and get commission. Okay, so very, very simple to do that. 
And notice I said go to Google. Don't always think that you're always going to find the perfect supplier. You know, sometimes it takes a little uh, uh, groundwork from you. Sometimes you've got to Google a little bit. Sometimes you might have to watch some TV. You know, sometimes you have to figure some things out first before you actually start putting it all together. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Good evening. I just started my business last night. Will I be required to complete the booking group training? <laughs> This is it. You're going to get credit for it. Just let us know you're on this call. We'll verify that. We'll give you credit for it. Will this webinar be available? Yes, it will be. Uh, how many people to do a booking group? It depends on the group. It could be 8. It could be 15. It could be 20. It could be 50. It just depends. But typically a group starts at about 8 to 10, 15, somewhere in there depending on the supplier. Uh, I can do it for you. Let's see. I can do it for you a charter. I have the entertainment to contact me. My family are musicians. We, okay, sounds like somebody's soliciting there. <laughs> Hi. Uh, who, um, <clears throat> somebody just said they have the entertainment charter? Yes. Uh, well, then you definitely want to get a hold of me. I just finished the Blake Shelton ch Cruise charter. If, I'm sure everybody heard of that. That was me. And then we just uh, signed Trace Atkins as well. Trace Atkins as well. So if you really are involved in the entertainment um, industry, uh, certainly get a hold of me. Hey, Mo, I like to put out a challenge. I think with all of these great agents on this call, sometime within the next year, somebody should be able to put together something that we could sell throughout the entire company and charter a cruise ship. What do you think? Oh, I think it's great. It you is just... talk about fun and the difference with charters is that when your group steps aboard that ship, their napkins, everything has your group name on it and your agency. So there's lots of big perks. Yeah, so, we just yeah. need oh, we just need, we just need somebody to come up with a great idea. All right, let's see. I would like to discuss a charter jazz cruise with you. Can you assist me with this? Absolutely, we'd love to. If you are just looking for family, would you still invoice individually? Okay, when I say individually, I don't mean per person. What I mean is per individual confirmation number. So if you have 10 people and there's two in a cabin, that would be five invoices. You basically invoice along with the supplier. So if the supplier has a group, but that group is broken into, say, 10 individual confirmation numbers, you would invoice PTN based on the same way. So if you have a family of five, you wouldn't actually create five individual invoices. If all five people are in one room, it would be one invoice. That's what I mean. Okay. So if you had a group of 100 people, you wouldn't make 100 invoices. You would make however many invoices based on however many people are actually traveling, let's say, together or in one cabin or, you know, like that. I hope that makes uh, better sense. Uh, this is not a question. It's a thought that came during the webinar. I can understand what is being said here. As a group, there may be There may be some things that the group does together as a group, but then there is always things that each individual member wants to do with family and friends. Agreed. We've talked about that. That's why it's important that you um, always um, spend time and sell each individual in the group because, again, you want to make sure everybody has a great time. I did that with my Finland group last year. I contacted each and every one of the 40 passengers. I suggested they extend this business trip to a vacation. I ended up booking 19 of them on extended holidays as well. I have kept in touch with each and every one of them and have booked several of them since with their families on their personal vacations. Also just secured my first destination wedding. After several conference calls with the bride and groom over two weeks, uh, I lost it. Punch came in. Uh, after after several conference calls with the bride and groom over the two weeks before even discussing, uh, <laughs> you guys slow down with the questions. You keep <laughs> uh, uh, a deposit was made today. They are inviting over 120 guests, um, and they believe at least 80 will be going August 2013 to Jamaica. My first destination wedding, and it's very exciting. I plan to deal with each and every one of the guests invited to the wedding, Nancy Wilson. Great job, Nancy. And Nancy's what, really one of our... Uh, uh, Good job, Nancy. Absolutely. Good job. Remember, we do weddings on board cruise ships. 
<laughs> you can get married by the captain. That's right. That's right. I came in a little late. Is this presentation recorded? Yes. Uh, you answered my question. Great. Thank you. Has Pro Travel thought of doing mock test scenarios for new independent agents as part of the training? Uh, no, because it really isn't that difficult. Um, you might think it is, but once you go through it, here's the deal, guys. With that, if you make a mistake, it's not that big a deal. It can all be fixed. Uh, I'm a firm believer that you're going to learn more in the mistakes that you make uh, than doing it the right way. So don't worry about making mistakes. I, I, my problem is when people are too afraid to make a mistake and they don't do anything. Um, remember, this is one thing you've always hear from me. A confused person does nothing. So just go ahead and do it. If you do it wrong, we'll help you fix it. Don't worry about it. Okay? Yes, we can. Okay, I researched a trip for a client and sent them a presentation with the price. Was that the wrong thing to do? Well, I don't have all the information yet, so I don't want to say that it's wrong or right. But based on what you've just presented to me, I would have to say it's incorrect. I don't ever send people information with a price because all you're asking them to do is shop you. So I'm, I'm not sure, and I would just say this, and I don't mean any disrespect, where is that in the sales process? I don't see anywhere in the sales process where it says send the client the presentation with a price and let them just what? Look at it, right? Kick the tires. Where, where's your commitment? Where's your ability to, to listen in on the phone and present and listen to the silence Ask them if they have any questions. So what you're doing is you're taking that path of least resistance and you're not engaging them. So you've done some work, but you're setting yourself up to not get paid for that work. Okay? So this is just a, a sales issue on your end. Uh, I don't believe in emailing quotes. I'm not an email quote kind of guy. Okay? Uh, I do taxes, so do these webinars count as training as I'm a little busy right now? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question. Uh, most said laugh out loud. <laughs> I don't mean any disrespect, whoever that was. Don't get mad at me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm giddy. It's been an hour. Okay. Uh, I believe I have a great target group for a charter cruise that will turn into an annual event. Awesome. Let us help you with that. Let us help you with that. Okay. I have a group of, of bookings I need to do right now. Excellent. Let's get them done. Should we type up our own commitment contract, or does Pro Travel already have one available? You know, you don't really need that. I mean, a commitment doesn't mean it has to be paper. I mean, again, if you're building value, that should already be there. When a person spends time with another person, here's one of the things, guys, I want you guys to understand. When two people talk to each other and build relationship, it's not easy to just walk away from that. It's easy to walk away when you're just throwing out quotes. See, that's the difference. So I don't think you need a commitment contract. The contract is if I can do this, this, and this, are we are, are and make that fit, is that going to work? I mean, and if they say yes, then just proceed. Just proceed. You know, we don't want to make it too, you know, I, 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 yeah, yeah. There's too much business out there. This, is, this has to be fun. I want you guys to understand one last thing. As we Just the last couple I'm going to take here. Booking travel is fun. Making money is fun. Doing groups is fun. But on a lot of the training calls, I, I take a little bit of the fun out of it only so that we can come down and really focus that we need to have good sales training. We need to have good marketing training. We need to know what we're doing at least to some degree. Then we can go have the fun. If you, if you don't understand and, and focus and understand the sales process and the marketing process, then you're not going to have fun. Everything's going to be an issue. You're going to set false expectations for your clients. You're going to have, you're going to feel like you're doing a lot of work and you're not getting paid and you're going to blame somebody. And unfortunately, human nature says, I'm going to blame everybody but me. So it's Pro Travel's fault, it's Mo's fault, it's Go Go Vacation's fault, it's going to be everybody's fault but yours. So all I'm saying is, is take your time. Do that sales process. Get really strong in your skill set. It's going to take time. Don't worry about that. But once you get that part done, you're going to have a lot of fun in this business. Deals will just fall in your lap. They will. All right, I try to do the sales process, and it goes directly to invoicing. I did CRM invoices. Uh, no, just go take it again. It's all there. 
uh, I am just starting and and on this group call I would like to get credit okay we've already talked about that getting credit for the call all right guys that's it for me I think we've we've um, um, covered enough I think we all got the point I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to get on the call tonight. I want to thank all of you great agents. Nancy, amazing job. Uh, that's, that's exactly what we want to hear. That's awesome. Dr. Akinyela, thank you for your comments. Pam, you're always awesome. I, I love the fact that you are living uh, the passion that, that you have for, for traveling to Africa. and You just created that, that thing out of thin air. All of our agents, you guys can do that. Whether it's a cruise, whether it's land, whether it's a tour around the world, you can definitely do that. Uh, Mo, her information is there for you. I know she represents NCL alone, but um, um, she's just a great resource for groups anywhere. And, and that's why I like to have her on this call because she can not only talk about groups with NCL, but she can divest herself of that and just really give us great tips and great pointers on uh, just booking groups uh, uh, um, anywhere, anytime. So, uh, Mo, I definitely want to thank you for getting on the call tonight, even though you thought it was tomorrow night. Um, I really appreciate it. So, uh, with that, everybody have a great evening. Uh, again, if you need credit for the booking groups call, um, we will go in. You don't have to call us. I automatically have everybody uh, who was on this call tonight. I will send this to the admin team, and they will automatically give you credit for this if for some reason you have not already gotten credit for the booking group's call. Everybody have a great evening. Thank you so much. Good night.